going to take a quick look at the undo function. The undo function can be found in setup, view settings, prog, programmer tab, and then undo mode. In this, in this setting, we have a couple different options. We have undo programmer and actions, we have undo programmer, and then we have undo programmer and actions via control. Undo programmer is kind of like hitting clear but it's not going to clear all of your attributes all at once. It's going to clear the attributes one at a time in the order that you put them into the programmer. Undo programmer and actions is going to do the same thing as undo programmer, but it's also going to include actions such as recording, moving things around, naming things, copying things, things like that. And then undo programmer and actions via control is going to do the same thing as this middle option, except in order to undo any actions, you have to hold down control while hitting undo. If you don't hold down control, it's going to act like just undo programmer. So let's take a look at undo programmer. If I go to layout one, I pick some lights, I give them some intensity, a position, we'll put a color in there, and a gobo. So now if I start hitting undo, it's going to take them out in the order that I put them in. The gobo first, the color first, and then the position. I can always put it back in there, change the color if I wanted to, and pick a different gobo, and then record it to a playback. If we take a look at undo programmer and actions, Here I can go through the same steps, pick some fixtures, put them at full, again, position, color, a gobo. And this time I'm going to go ahead and record it here, and I'll also name it. I can clear out the console. When I hit play, there's my look. Now when I say undo, it's gonna, the last thing I did was clear everything, so it's gonna bring it back. Then it's gonna undo the naming that I just did. And then it will undo me saving that to that playback. If I wanted to, if I made a mistake and I wanna bring back an action, I can hold down shift and undo and it will redo the last action that I did. Alternatively, I can also control and undo, and that will give me a history of all the actions that I've made recently, and now I can choose to go back to a certain step, such as this, and that will get rid of everything. Now I can't redo that, once I've gone back, so I have to be careful about how many steps I go back to. So that's a quick little look at our undo function.